So we're looking here uh, at a problem from chapter 2 asking us to construct a relative frequency distribution. This is problem uh, number 11 from section 2.2. Um, and, and we're given frequency distribution. So, so we click this icon to get a frequency distribution. And here we see our different classes um, for the non-filtered cigarettes and the classes for the filtered cigarettes and then the frequency that falls in each class. Um, in order to in order to work with this, we need to calculate again the relative frequency. Now, the way we look at relative frequency is that's the uh, proportion that are in each category. Um, <clears throat> and so, if we uh, if we look at this, we can pull the data up in StatCrunch. Is one way we can look at it. Um, <clears throat> It doesn't give us that option, or gives us that option. Um, well, it doesn't give us that option right here. Um, <clears throat> but what we can do is, uh, in order to calculate the relative frequency, um, let's look first of all at the non-filtered. What we need is the frequency in the class divided by the total number uh, in that sample. And so if we add these up, 1 plus 2 is 3, plus 14 is 17, plus 7, is 24 plus 1 is 25. So we have 25 in the class and we have 1 in the group in the class from, uh, or sorry, 25 in the sample, 1 in the class from 13 to 16, <clears throat> which means that the relative frequency is 1 divided by 25. And so when we put that in here, um, that's going to be for this one here, 1 divided by 25 is 0 0.04, but we want it as a percentage and so we multiply by 100 and we get 4 percent. From 17 to 20, we have 8 percent. From 21 to 24, 14 divided by 25. If we calculate that, then what we get is 0.56, but times 100 is 56 percent. Uh, here we have 7, which will be 28 percent. Here we have one, which is 4%. Um, and then we had zero in each of these classes. So we're going to put zero there for the non-filtered uh, cigarettes. So when we look at the filtered, we have two in the first class here, which is 8%. Um, again, what we have is 25 values in the sample. Two divided by 25 is 8% um, or 0 0.08, which is 8%. Uh, here we have 24. Here we have 60 and then zero in these classes. And I'll hit done here, and I'll check my answer, and it looks like we got those right. Um, continue on to the next portion. Do cigarette filters appear to be effective? Uh, well, you know, what does that mean? Um, do we have less tar in the, uh, in the smoke that we're getting? Um, and so, yes, they do appear to be um, <clears throat> better because the frequency of the higher tar classes is greater for non-filtered cigarettes. So they have reduced the tar, um, but, but if you any smokers, if you know, you read the labels, the filters do not decrease uh, the harmfulness of the cigarette. So even though you have less tar, it's still uh, going to be harmful. We'll check our answer and we get uh, that portion right.